Michelle Nethercott, Malcolm Bryant's attorney, who works with the University of Baltimore's Innocence Project, says she went to the sheriff's office Wednesday to speak with Bryant behind a glass partition. When she told him the news, he dropped his head and said, oh, my God. We caught up with him as he took his first steps of freedom again. I'm still numb right now, and I'm like, I'm, I'm just absolutely thankful, thankful God that these two here, they wouldn't give up. They wouldn't give up. Now 42 years old, Malcolm Bryant walked outside in the rain Wednesday with one of his guardian angels, Nethercott. She told me over the phone the result of this case is extremely gratifying, that she's happy for him and wishes it hadn't taken this long. But she explained why. The testing itself took a long time um, and the series of court orders to get the testing um, took a long time. Baltimore City State's attorney Marilyn Mosby describes what else led to this outcome. When we re-examined the identifying witness in this case, what we found was that the strength of the sole identification did not outweigh the strength of the DNA evidence, especially in light of the fact that it was an observation that was made for three or four seconds in rainy nighttime conditions where under the stress and strain of being attacked. Baltimore Police Commissioner Kevin Davis says a lot has changed over the last two decades. I think the last quarter century of advancements in law enforcement have probably outpaced any other 25 year period of advancements in public safety in, in the, the modern history of, of at least this country. And as Bryant hugs his family again, Nethercott tells us he wants to spend time with his family, possibly leave the state and start fresh somewhere else, maybe even enroll in culinary school. Nethercott says on behalf of both Bryant and her, they had no intention of causing pain to Tony Bullock's family by bringing about this reinvestigation. Our efforts to reach the Bullock family have been unsuccessful. Reporting in the studio, Lacey Griffith, WBAL-TV 11 News.